this uh, venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world and here is the national anthem of Peru Got the juices flowing, and now this. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. And already we're underway here. get it forward quickly can't get the better of his opposite number oh he's going to be pulled back for that one And that's been leave it clear. Hoists it forward. William. Caicedo. And it's played forward. Has he found his man? Could be a chance. It's one. There it is. And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. <laughs> Ecuador they have an early lead, good start. Ecuador making the ideal start. It is something to build on. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. Caicedo. Ecuador have a free kick. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he has to change his ways or this referee 
could soon change his status. Forward it goes. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Played towards the front men. Gorgeous control there. Great leap! Oh, she needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Tries to get it forward quickly. Valencia. Cleared without complication. And that's a throw. I say though. That's nice. Puts it into the middle. And he's there to hoof it away. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to stroke it through. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Plays a clever pass. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Incoming cross. Defending of the desperate variety. It's gone for a throw in. Forward it goes. Hoist it forward. The through ball, chance! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. And it's played forward. into a dangerous position and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing <laughs> and that's sprayed out wide Hoists it forward. And there's the end of the first half. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now can they protect it? Ecuador head for the dressing room in possession of a 1 0 lead. Already up and running for the second half. Ecuador really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. 
Valencia, who has made his impact already. Played out to the right, back into the middle. Forward it goes. Valencia gets the better of his man. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looks to clip it forward. Away from immediate danger. Peru showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Good ball. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. And back to the keeper. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Aimed in towards the centre. Goalkeeper's ball. Ecuador really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Valencia plays it out to the wing. Time to deliver. Caicedo. He's gone for it! They scored! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line. Well, how's that for a class finish? I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by feigning to move one way and then readjusting back. Control trickery. Peru are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. So that's two now without reply. Going for goal! Oh, he's managed to miss it. Yeah, this is part of the job. Head down and keep plugging away. Forward it goes. That's a throw. Peru making another change here. Leading by two, and the finishing line in sight. Out towards the flank. Oh, he's 
there to get rid. Caicedo. A heavy challenge. Little doubt, that is a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. this time but I'm sure he'll go again Valencia he's pinged one through here and that will be the final act Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control, they did enough to win it. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Ecuador had a very simple tactic to implement, Peter, and they exposed...